it is a common sight these days at Indian homes to see four five year old kids engaged with smartphones independently while his or her parents go about their activities at home or outside. Such an independent engagement with mobile involves various activities such as listening to songs, watching cartoons and other material on different apps and playing games as well. It usually ends up being a long engagement in every episode as the child navigates from one activity to the next and back to the first one after a while. Since children remain occupied for a long time negotiating different apps and their exciting images and sounds, several parents have taken to a mobile handset as a babysitter. The parents feel a sense of relief when the baby remains engrossed in a touch and responds activity over a game or a video while they attend to different chores. They complain with an affectionate tint that the child doesn't let them do anything unless he is given the mobile in his or her hand. The touchscreen technology has significantly changed environments in which young children are reared and looked after. There are several dimensions to this change. When parents leave the child alone with the mobile, they lose interest as well as a desire to know what is it that the child is busy with. Even some of them retain it, the speed at which a touchscreen works doesn't permit it. Several studies have already reported a sharp rise in the incidence of dry eye syndrome among children. One of the most common reasons for chronic dry eye these days is spending too much time staring at computers, TVs, smartphones and tablets. There are serious problems with cartoons as commercial art forms and the kind of ideas for which they are used. A 5-minute experience is enough for any parent to realize that cartoon programs use adult themes and imagery but the reliance on screen as a babysitter probably restrains them from thinking more deeply on these lines. And learning English words from cartoons that have been woven around at all themes including violence, rape, sexuality, etc. brings its own issues that cannot be called learning. It can at best be called inappropriate exposure and a forced entry of adult life mysteries in a child's life. A child ceases to be a child when he or she is brought up on adult themes as learning experiences that to without any adult intervention or control. Nowadays, giving speech or commands to a virtual assistant on mobile or gadgets like Alexa or Siri has emerged as a frequently done activity by young children and even toddlers. This is where parents need to realize that the use of a smart screen only makes the learning activity easier and faster. It doesn't make the child brighter or even a learner. It doesn't develop any intellectual habit or ability. Childhood is a time of developing interest by being in awe of the world and human achievements. It is high time that the schools take on this responsibility and counsel parents against excessive use of mobile as a babysitter. Sadly, schools are also uncritical users of mobile apps in the present times. Bureau Report, Argus News.